So the plastic just makes sure that at some point you'll be able to get it all off so you can analyze it. So you cut that plastic wrap, run your uh, magnet through the grass for a little while. Um, you'll get some stuff on it, you'll see right away. And then you need to look at it under your microscope or your magnifying glass. And what you should find are these little itty bitty things that don't quite look exactly like the rest of the stuff. Now the magnet picks up anything that has iron in it. Iron and I think nickel are very easily picked up by magnets. But um, most of the stuff you'll find will look kind of grainy and rough. That's because it's probably been ground up through earth processes and it looks rough. But micrometeorites will look nice and spherical. And that's because, um, and this is why I think they come when they're melted off or stuff. Um, they've been vaporized or they've been melted off, so they've been tumbling around in the Earth's atmosphere and they've had a very nice chance to get very round. So these are metallic meteorites. They're actually not the majority of the types of meteorites that scientists find in big form, um, but they're easier to find and identify with the magnet and everything like that. So you can find these, you know, almost a millimeter in size to very teeny tiny, as you saw earlier, like 0.3 millimeters. So anyways, that kind of concludes my talk. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I just want to let you know that if you had lettuce for lunch, you probably ate a few cosmic dust particles. Uh, this guy is the person who researches the inter uh, interplanetary dust particles with the plane and stuff. Um, very cool research, I think. So thank you. the biggest mass in our solar system, and that means it basically influences the other masses a lot more than the other masses influence each other. So and so because of the way, like, resonances, basically, you know, something is constantly being perturbed by Jupiter, the planet was not able to form there. So all the, like, pre-planetary stuff that was in that region was not able to form a planet. It was always perturbed so that it didn't do that. So it's basically probably the way it was. Yeah? How are comets created? How come? How, how are comets created? Oh, how, oh, that's a great question. So the question was, how are comets made? Um, well, comets were probably made from the same stuff that planets were made from, except they were made much, much further out. And they're icy, unlike the asteroids, because further out from the sun, things are colder. So ice was able con to congeal and kind of stay the way it was and form comets. From from the metal that um, from the metal that usually falls out of the Yes, exactly. So it has some of the same stuff, but it also has ice. Yeah? Oh, that's a great question. So the question was how many things are there in the solar system? I actually don't have an answer for that because uh, there's so many. So we have one moon, um, other planets have one or two moons, but planets like Jupiter and Saturn. They have like 30 or 60 moons, and we're always finding new ones. So I would say, you know, somewhere around 90 or 100. Yeah? Saturn has 31 moons. Oh, so it has 31 moons. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.